Okay. How are you doing, judges? We ready? All right. Time. Welcome, judges. My name is Wei Hong. Today, I want to share with you this exceptional wushush from El Placier Coffee Farm in Colombia. Wushush is a varietal originated from southwest Ethiopia. It is known for its high sugar content in both cherries and coffee beans. Now, this coffee, grown at 1,800 meters above sea level, is processed with carbonic maceration. The coffee cherries are first sealed in the CO2 tanks for 12 days at 18 degrees Celsius, and then slowly dried in a humidity-controlled dark room for 20 days. This controlled and extended fermentation at the lower temperature helps to intensify the tropical fruit notes while maintaining a clean cup profile. Now, judges, I want to direct your attention to the other ingredient in our coffee brewing process. That is our water. Today, I prepared two different water to brew this coffee for optimal balance and flavor clarity. Now, the first water contains magnesium and potassium with TDS of 120 ppm. From my testings, magnesium is very good at extracting tropical fruit notes like mango and pineapple. Potassium has high extraction ability on the floral notes. However, at higher extraction level, magnesium will increase the bitterness and potassium will add vegetative notes in the cup. So to prevent this, I'm limiting both minerals only in the beginning stage of the brew. Now the second water contains calcium and sodium with TDS of 90 ppm. Calcium adds vibrancy in the cup by enhancing the fresh fruit notes like white grape and green apple. It also intensifies some of the sweet notes like dark chocolate and cacao nibs. Well, sodium helps to intensify the perception of overall sweetness and weight of the body. However, neither calcium and sodium is able to achieve the same level of complexity compared to magnesium and potassium. In order for water to fully contact with my coffee, today I'm selecting origami with flat bottom paper filter. The flat bottom filter will make the coffee bed thinner, allow a more even water contact, and that's an even extraction. And this even extraction translates into a more focused tropical fruit notes in the cup. Now my brew ratio today is 1 to 16 with 15 grams of coffee and 240 grams of water. Now I will be pouring in four total pours. With 60 grams of water each pour every 45 seconds. Now, before I introduce the water, I'm using a stitch to evenly distribute the coffee bed. So uh, my water will quickly saturate all the coffee. All right. Now, judges, I discovered by utilizing different type of minerals at different stages of the brew, I'm able to extract the highest the sweetness and the most beautiful flavors. Now, my first two pours, I'm using the water containing magnesium and potassium. At a temperature of 94 degrees Celsius. This temperature will help me quickly extract the complex fruity esters, the floral notes, as well as the organic acids. Now my second water, my next two pours, contains calcium and sodium 
with a temperature of 88 degrees Celsius. Now this slightly lower temperature helps me to control the overall extraction of the coffee while the calcium sodium still enhancing the body and sweetness in the cup. Now judges, I want to share with you my sensory notes. When you first smell the coffee, you will get the aroma of mango, cherry, milk chocolate, and white flour like honeysuckle. When you drink the coffee, you will be amazed by the complexity of the coffee because different type of minerals help to extract the different flavors. When hot, you will get mango, cherry, cacao nibs, and purple flower like violet. As the temperature drops to warm temperature, this is when the coffee really opens up and you will experience the increase of both sweetness and acidity with flavor notes of pineapple, white grape, green apple, and dark chocolate. Now as the temperature keeps dropping to around 40 degrees Celsius, you will notice an additional guava flavor coming out. And this is extracted by the magnesium. A hint of jasmine extracted by the potassium. And also you will notice sweet notes like raisin and dark, uh, black cherry. Those are contributed by the calcium and sodium in the later stage of the brew. Now for the aftertaste of the coffee, it's long and sweet through all the temperatures. When hot, you will get slight bitterness and then immediately transition into pleasant sweetness, like dark chocolate and cacao nibs. And I want to mention this bitterness is actually extracted by the magnesium. It combines harmoniously with the sweetness extracted by the calcium. Now, um, as the temperature drops, the acidity, uh, the aftertaste transition into tropical fruit. Now the body, uh, acidity of this coffee, sorry, acidity of this coffee is beautiful and complex with a medium high level of intensity. When hot, you will get malic acid, like mango and black cherry. As the temperature drops, the acidity becomes brighter and more tartaric, resembling grapes and guava. The body of this coffee is at medium weight. The texture, when hot, is silky and smooth, and it will transition into a juicy, vibrant, and clean cup as the temperature drops. Now judges, today I will be serving you the coffee in the origami sensory cup. This cup is designed to elevate your coffee experience. The aromatics will evaporate and converge at the narrow part of the cup. This will enhance your flavor perception. Now, when I serve the cup, I'd ask you, please use your spoon to stir three times to mix the beverage and release the aroma. I'd also ask you, when evaluating body and aftertaste, please drink directly from the cup. For acidity and flavor, please use your cupping spoon. Please enjoy, be careful it's hot. Please enjoy, be careful it's hot. Please enjoy. Now judges, I'm very excited to be here today to share some of my findings on how different type of minerals in the brewing water will actually affect the flavors in the cup. So I've learned so much and enjoyed so much preparing for this competition. I hope you enjoy this coffee experience as much as I do. Thank you. Time.